Hello VTubers, Felix here, and welcome to another episode of Team Lacoste. And this will be my last one hour video in, until like the 10th episode, because I'm gonna start saying that every like 5th episode, or starting from the 10th episode, will be a one hour video. So the next one hour video after this will be the 10th, then after that will be the 15th, then after that will be the 20th. Just to like space it out so you guys don't get bored of this series, just to help you guys out. Okay, I wanna show you a quick result before we get going. The Grand Prix La Marseille. Guess what? Oh, Ricky Greenwich fucking destroyed this one. <laughs> Peter Vining third, Michael Abbasini second, Simon Clark first. Holy cow. <laughs> Let's just say they pulled off a Team Lacoste and just totally dominated the race. I wanna know, I wish I kinda wrote that race because I wanna see how they did that. But, yeah. I'm impl implementing a new thing into this career. Thanks to uh, St. Mary's College, I think it's called, like SMC. He's got his own YouTube channel, he's doing pretty good stuff, you should go check him out. But he had an idea. What about making up some small objectives for the smaller races that I don't have objectives for for my sponsors? Like, we have one coming up in a second. The, what is it called? The Etoy de Besage doesn't have any sponsor goals, so I'm gonna make one my own. And if I succeed, I get 500,000 sponsor points. But if I don't succeed, I lose 500 sp spons uh, sponsor, like, euros. So let's say I lose this, I don't get my objective. I will have 185,000 in... Um, like in positive money, like if money, euros, but if I make it, I'll have 1,000 something something math is not my strong point right now. In the US I only did algebra, I didn't really do any like just math with my fingers or anything, just, you know, you have to learn that x square equals y square or something like that, yeah, it's kind of gay. So, you might thinking, so who is he bringing to a, to a toy the besetches? Well, I'm bringing Viviani, and my first objective is going to be winning the points series with Viviani. And that's going to be difficult. I have class I have given that a classification of hard, because I cannot win with Viviani. For some reason, he's the guy that just doesn't want to win for me. I mean, if I'm going to get a victory, I'm going to, I'm going to go up, I'm going to record myself dancing, I'm going to show it to you guys. So, I don't know if you hope for me to win, or hope for me to lose, because do you really want to see me dancing? I mean, it's not really that beautiful. I guess you have to decide if I win. So... I'm bringing to this race, I'm bringing Elia Viviani, Enrico Fransoy, Jasper Stewart, Nicholas Bonnet, Flavian Dasonville, and Ten Balance. So, Ten Balance is the guy I'm going for the GC with, because in the end there is a mountain, no, that's a hilly time trial, and I think that Ten Balance can win that one, because he's in form. I used to win the Tour Down Under, just to get him in form for, him for this race. Nicholas Bonnet is also in form for this race, because he wanted, to he wanted to race this race, so I just got him in form for it. And we could use another lead up, man. So our leader twins going to be Viviani, Francois, Stu, and Bonnet, and Dasonville, and we'll save Valence for this one. So I'll see you when we get in the race. So we're in the first race of the Itali Besetches, and let's see what the favorites are. Who everyone actually brunked it. What the heck? What the heck? Someone made a mistake. They put Viviani as a favorite for this one. What the heck? I give up. I give up my life. If someone ever puts Viviani as a favorite, that's when you know they're on cocaine or something. I think Tom Bonin is probably the, like the, the head guy doing this thing. I think Tom Bonin is the guy in charge of this. I, I, nah, he's, no, he didn't do... He did heroin, didn't he? He did cocaine or heroin. I don't remember. I know he just did some whacked up stuff. Well, he used to be good, but then he's like, you know what, I don't just, I don't give a shit anymore. I'm just gonna get high, I'm gonna, nobody's gonna notice me. Oh wait, they did. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get everyone to the front right now, it's really not that working. But let's see who we attack right now. Dion Waiters first corn. Get to the front, Stoyan. You're my trusty mate. Get to the front. Come on, Dasonville. Holy shit, Dasonville's dying from that pace. Yep, he got out there. So everyone stopped pacing because they caught the breakaway, finally. See, I don't get why they're working so hard. What team is that even? I don't even recognize that team. Oh, Oscar Gatto is in here. He used to be one of my favorite writers. Then he, like, just, I don't know, forgot him. I forgot him. <laughs> Let's see, where's Fransoy? Yeah, you can sit there. They're doing good. Why are they pacing so bad? Why? Oh, wait. Is Inglinski at AG2R? I, th I didn't think it was. Oh, that's a wrong Inglinski. I was going to say. Right, last time I checked, Inglinski is on. That's the nah. But apparently. He's got a brother in AG2R. So why are they pacing like mofos? And by the way, I'm playing this on hard this time. Last time I was playing it on normal. I just bummed up the difficulties just to try it to see if I can do. But if I fail too much, I'll bump it down to normal. Because I just want this to be a relaxing series where I just... I do... I, I want to say decent. Not, not too overpowered, but not too bad. Like, I want to win stuff. What's the point of doing an entire career if you just suck balls? I mean, who would do that? I don't know. Some... Some people just like to be terrible team. Actually, in PCM, I like to be a terrible team, 
but for like a YouTube series, that's not gonna work because it's gonna be really difficult getting through an entire season because in like three weeks the school starts again and that's gonna be a lot of bu busy stuff. So I'm gonna try to get as much stuff like ready to go as possible. So it's fun. Okay, why is what's going on? For some reason, people just are like no, we're not. We don't dare to attack because the AG2R. It's just like watching over us. It's like Big Brother right there in the AG2R team. The Big Brothers. Oh, 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 are you attacking? Are you attacking? No, oh, never mind. Too much exciting fun. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Lemon Taknach. What is RLM? What team is that? I don't even know what team that is. Oh, Diffodang. It's a great name. So, it looks like I'm the only real sprinter here that can do anything. I mean, Greg Bolin. Actually, I'm saying that too early because uh, knowing Viviani, I'll f I'll f I'll fail. What the heck? What the heck? What is up with this pace? Are they attacking or pacing? I can't tell. What the heck is going on? Are they all attacking for this one or are they pacing? What the heck? The Peloton almost broke because of that. What the heck? What the heck? Stop breaking the Peloton. I just want an easy stage. Oh, now we have one guy in the breakaway. Thank God they let him run away. Van Bilsen from Team Splots of Landerun, I think it is. So, I have nobody protecting Viviani because he doesn't need protection. I don't have any faith in him anyway, so we'll see what's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm so excited to see this finish because I don't know how good Viviani is gonna be. Because this is my first like first time in 2013 using Viviani. Actually, it's my first time in two years using Elliot Viviani, so... We'll see if I can actually win with him. I doubt it, but... He's got a reputation. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, like... In 2011, I played Team Lacoste. I had Team Lacoste, like that was the first time I ever made Team Lacoste and got a really good amount of viewers and likes for, like, at the back then I only had 200 subscribers, now I have 616 at the moment making this. But, I mean, he was so terrible, I, he could not do anything. Oh shit, I need water. Nicholas Bunner, you're my bitch, go get water. But yeah, he couldn't do anything, I, I put up the perfect sprint train, he just wouldn't even go outside of, like, Daniel Oss, like my leader, man. I'm... It's so terrible. I would make a leader train, he would just fall off, and he'd be like, I can't hold on. I'd be like, no, don't let go, don't let go, you can do it. He'd be like, bitch, I can't. I mean, uh, that's how I imagine Viviani. If you ever watch any movies, he's like, don't let go, don't let go, and let's go. Like, he's a douchebag that let's go. I mean, that's Viviani. Oh, come on. Holy crap, my, <laughs> my leader man, minus five in the day. So, yeah. Not not enough with me having Viviani, I'm also gonna get screwed over with Jesper Stuen having minus 5 on the day. This is so terrible. And I'm not going for the minus classification this one, guys. It's not worth it, because I'm going for the GC in the end of Valence, and I'm going for the green jersey. And I need the green jersey, because otherwise I lose money, and if I want to stay on Team Acosta, I need to win stuff. And if I want to, like, buy better riders in the end, I gotta win stuff too. So it's kinda... You gotta win to stay, but you also gotta win to be better. And if you lose, you're just butt-fucked. Come on, Stuin! Get to the front! Get to the chopper! So right now... Oh, who got dropped? Poor guy. Poor Dutch guy. He's too terrible. So right now, it seems like... Uh, who do they even have, Garmin? Garmin has Robert Hunter, I think. Yeah, they're pacing for Robert Hunter. Let's see what they can do. What? How much time am I coming up on now? I'm not even looking at my screen right now. Oh, 10 minutes. It's kind of really fast, actually. Like, I'd like doing these one-hour videos, but they just go so fast, and I'm like, I have so much I want to talk about, but they just run out of, sp run out of time. Let's see, are they even catching me now? Because right now we see... Lepilim. I don't even know what team that is. Like, wh what team? Is that Lepom? I'm not even sure if that is. Oh, yeah, it is. It's Lepom. Okay, this pace is in... This is stupidly high, this pace in the Peloton right now. Uh, oh, shit, I need, my, I need to get my sprint train. What are you doing, Valence? Oh, wait, no, man, I'm not needing you. Holy crap. He was fast. So Viviani and him on... No. Viviani on Stuart on... Fransol I'm screwed. My leader train is terrible. My leader... Why did I not take a better leader train to this race? I mean, my leader train is horrendous. You, 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 you. I could have used villains, but nah. It's not worth it. How much time do they have in the front? I'm I'm fully counting on Garming Shop to catch this guy. And he's got two minutes. Catch him, Garming! Catch... Oh, what the heck? Did they just sprint for that? I didn't even see that. I'm not paying that much attention for some reason. Catch him, Garming! Catch him! How are they that slow? Come on! Garming just sucks. I'm sorry if there's any Americans who follow me, which I know there is, but they suck. I never liked Garming. Like, I like what Tyler Farad did once uh, when uh, Vada Violent died. Like, he dedicated his victory to him. 
and they were good friends and stuff. But I never really liked Garmin. Like they've always been the team that just disappoints, in my opinion. And it looks like I need to get my leader train going. This is not gonna be a good one, guys. I have a feeling that Vivian is just not gonna be able to do this. <laughs> oh, this is terrible, guys. Oh my god, this is this is terrible, guys. This is terrible. I'm saying it right now. I'm gonna fail, really bad. I'm gonna fail. Come on, don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up. This is not my day. This is not my day. Get to the front. Get to the front. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, come on. Bonne. Press through Bonnefund. Press through him. What the heck? No, no. Not this bug again. Not this bug again. Not this. Taysonville, you son of a bitch. Get on his wheel. Taysonville. You. Oh. Taysonville, you just pissed the wrong guy off. Viviani. Never mind. I don't even think Viviani can get mad. Like, have you ever seen Viviani get mad? Like, he's like, oh, I'm just gonna give up. What are you doing, Viviani? Get on Jasper Stewart's wheel. Get on Jasper Stewart's wheel. Get on that wheel. Come on. Why does he never want to work? He's like the malfunctioning toy that you always get to Christmas. You're like, yes, I got a new toy. Oh, wait, that broke the day after. Come on, Viviani. Viviani, you piece of crap. Viviani. Get up there, Viviani. Get up there. Oh, he's, he's making space. He's getting time. Oh, what the heck? Uh, Viviani? 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 Will you please go on the right train? This is, that's not your train, Viviani. What the heck is Fred's doing? He's still going strong. What, what are you doing, Viviani? Will you please get on the right train? Viviani, why do you have to suck so bad? <laughs> Guess I'll just have to go for stewing. Which is really terrible. Get up there, Vivi. You know what, Viviani, you can make your own leader train. Go on Tom Dumoulin. And that's even, that's even Samuel Dumoulin. But he's... Why do you have to do that? Why do you have to do this to me every year? Like, why do I even keep on choosing you? See, you can go on his wheel, but you can't go on Jasper Stewart's wheel, you... Cock. Okay, time, time to sprint. Time to sprint. You ready for this, Viviani? Are you ready for this, Viviani? This is the final showdown. Will Viviani win? Most likely not, because he can't even get past Dumoulin. Get past him. Get past... Him! Get past him! Come on! Let's see what Viviani can do. Viviani's launching his final sprint on the right side. It's bold. But on the inside, Viviani's going! Viviani's going! No! Will I win? Will I finally win with Viviani? I'm gonna No, wait, wait. S slow down, but not this. No! Slow down! Slow down! Slow down! Will I win? Will I win? Or will he come on the outside? I won! I won with Viviani! I won! Cue the video where I'm dancing. <laughs> I won! I won! Oh my god. <laughs> Viviani gave me that much trouble and I win? What the heck? So I, I'm, I can officially say Viviani, you might, I mean you're your own leader train, like for some reason you're like, you know what, I don't even want to go on my leader train, I have a shitty leader train. I'll just sit back, wait for everyone to underestimate me and just be like, hey yo I'm gone! But look how fast point of thought was coming up. Holy crap, I won that stage. Viviani to the rescue. How did the other guys do? Jasper Stewart got 7th. Not bad considering I was sprinting for him in the end. So we'll see Viviani in that gay shirt. And... What? What is up with these shirts? Like, I mean, that's so ugly. Couldn't you make some better ones? Even that shirt is like... I wanna puke. Come on, Viviani, young guy. <laughs> I, I don't know if Viviani is that young still. Oh, I'm second team in the oval classification, team classification. So I've won with Viani. I hope you like my dancing, by the way. Because that's, uh, yeah, a twerking. It's really good. Oh my god, Viviani. How did I win with you? I mean, I gave up on life. The day that I win with Viviani is the day I should just quit PCM. I mean, my life is fulfilled. I can, fi I can finally say that I won with Viviani. And I'll take control of... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is my lucky number. Probably wasn't fair, but... And once again, this episode is sponsored by Mountain Dew. That's my best commercial voice that I can do. Because that's how I do. Oh, that's, I'm so funny, dude. I'm so funny. So, 
Viviani is not going to keep this. It looks too like steep in the end. We'll see if Viviani can make it two in a row. I'll be really surprised. I was playing this on hard, and I can't even win with Viviani. <laughs> Who would have knew? Things off. So, well, I'll I kind of want a topic to talk about this stage because the other one was kind of random. And for you to watch a one hour video, you kind of need something to like listen to. Otherwise, me just yelling, I won! I won! Like a retard. Yeah, I know. So, I thought about speaking about the Tour de France because it's almost over now, or once, when you're watching this, it's over, but right now it's only the second to last stage when I'm doing this, so, exciting. So, so far the Tour de France has been, am I was going to say amazing, but, but that's not the right word. It's been, it's been interesting. I say interesting. I mean, I've never seen a mountain guy sprint like Cavendish up fucking Mount Mountain too, but for some guy, it's, not, it's just possible. Froom dot A's. Yep, 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 yep. That guy, I'm never, I'm never gonna like Froome. I'm never gonna, like, care for Froome, because I like Froome back in the days when he was a time trialist. I remember the days when he was, like, or, like, I've seen a clip of him, like, time trialing down the ramp, and he, like, hit some guy with a lot of papers in his hand and stuff. That made me like him, because it was so random, but it was just funny. I mean, that made me like him. But then, after a couple of years, he shows his, like, his, uh, his dark side, I wanna say. <laughs> the, the, in my opinion, doped side, because... I've never seen, I mean, if you get offended by my opinions, don't watch the rest of the video because I'm very opinionated. But I've never seen anybody sprint up a mountain like he did. Like, he doesn't even attack, he just goes down like, hey, yo, watch me. He's like 20 meters away. I mean, that's just not, no, 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 not possible in my book. I've seen so much, so much different stuff, but I've never seen a guy sprint like Cavendish up, up Mamba in two. I mean, come on, get alive. Don't, don't, don't be that obvious, in my opinion. But, yeah, the first stage was kind of interesting, actually. Like, the bus. Like, who would have thought that a bus would make the, like, the, the grand, like, the, the grand appearance in the Tour de France? On the hundredth stage, we will not only be facing hard side win, hard down, uh, downhilling, but also a bus on the finish line. Will Johnny Hoogland get, get driven over by the bus, or will he drive past it? That's a big question. Nah, he... Lucky for him, Johnny Hugeland's not been hit by a car this year. I want to say that's a really big achievement for Johnny Hugeland. I'm sorry for hitting you Dutch guys, but it's just... I mean, that was such a strange thing last year when Johnny Hugeland got hit. Or actually, it was, it was Juan Antonio Fletcher who got hit by the car, but he bounced into Hugeland. But still, have you ever seen such a thing? A guy getting hit by a car? Oh, oh, the white guy's in the breakaway, it seems like. Which one of these guys is the white guy? The white guy? <laughs> Which one's the... Is it Holler? Yeah, it looks like it's Holler. We're 75 sprint. Who actually went in the breakaway today? <laughs> and I'll be sprinting for Valence today, by the way. But then the second stage came around, and that was like that was like Sagan's lose loss to Giron's, right? No, that was Bakalan's victory, I think, wasn't it? I don't I don't remember. Yeah, I think that was Bakalan's victory. It was it was either Giron's getting second or Bakalan's getting first. But still, it's pretty interesting to see him. Like Bakalan's really came out of his shell this year in the Tour de France. I think we should really expect some big things from him. From, uh, my words just got mixed together. From him next year, because he's really been looking strong, actually. Like, in the mountains, he can follow, like, some of the upcoming talents, like Robert Gissing, who's been an upcoming talent for seven years now. And he'll stay that way until he starts decaying when he's 40 years old. So, yeah. For some reason, again, AJ Tour is doing all the work for me. Then there was, like, the... The team time trial, which I kind of like because Orega Greenheads, like, I don't know if you watch their videos, Orega Greenheads has their own channel on YouTube where they do, like, videos and then, like, just every day in the Tour de France, every stage and stuff. And when they won that, they, like, went crazy. I mean, after w watching those videos of Orega Greenheads, I love that team. I mean, it's, it's so fun to see the backside of a team, and they're so casual and, like, laid back and, like, you know, we'll do what we do, if we can't do it, so what? And that's just, I like that mentality. But they, they won that, which I didn't expect. I expected Sky and Garmin to do amazingly good, but they both didn't do that good. So, and Team Saxbank did also really good. And then what's next, then? Uh, the first mountain stage, the Axtre Domain, where Richie Port and uh, Christopher Froome just went full retard. I mean, Richie Port pulled for like, what is that, 50 kilometers or something? He dropped everyone. And then Froome attacks. Three minutes later, Port attacks. I'm like... You pulled for 50 kilometers straight. Every human being would be dead. I mean, they would lay on the ground being like, Mommy, Mommy, my legs hurt. But no, Richie Port's like, Hey, yo, I'm Terminator. Has to love you stuff, baby. I mean, that's just, no. No. I mean, I've seen on PCM Daily Form, he's been called Richie Landis, which I kind of, like, understand. Because he's so unnatural. Like, next year, like, this year, it's like Froome Wiccans last year. This year, it's Port... Uh, Froome. Next year it'll be Port and Kinoch. I mean, that's just... 
When will this cycle stop? When will somebody kill one of the Skyriders and make this endless cycles of doom stop? Oh crap, I need to pace actually, kind of just a bit, it seems like. I'll pace with friend Soy. Then, the extra domain stage is just stupid. And ever since the Froom's got the yellow jersey until today, which you'll probably not lose. Then, what else is there to talk about? Uh, anything that really sticks to mind? The time trial? I really hope for a concert on that one, but, uh, yeah. About not changing bikes might not have been the smartest decision from Contador because it worked for everyone else. Why would you not do it? Oh, some some favorite crashed. Light hurt. Tenth. No, oh, eighth. He's actually eighth. He crashed. What a shame. There goes his. Oh, the entire Black Council team is down to help him. Well, that's a shame because now we're pacing in the front. Oh, they're actually pacing. I, am I pacing or are they trying to pace? I don't get this. Then, yeah, that time trial. I really hope for Contador to win because I'm a big Saxobank fan. And, uh, yeah. Like, he showed that he's in form, actually, again, but I would have preferred him winning it, but... Second place, it's not that bad, but Froome, just unstoppable. Then, the next thing that comes into mind is, uh, Rui Costa's two stage victories. I mean, how do you even do that? Like, how do you do, like, twice in four days to, like, figure out, you know what, I'm gonna go in the breakaway right here, I'm just gonna play that I'm sick and I can't do anything, and then I'm just gonna surprise everyone and win. I mean, how do you even, like, do that? Res full respect to him because he he's really good actually like I know the day he won the first time I had him on my fancy team I'm like yes he wins the second time he wins I'm like god dang I'll take him off why did I not trust him Rui Costa then um what is up next probably the the Richie Port Christopher Froome food scandal in my opinion like you're not allowed to give food within the last 10 kilometers I believe it is and uh Froome was going sugar cold and he's like, ah, I can't do anything. Car, give me some foods. The car's like, dude, we can't. We can't. We have restrictions. We will get banned from the Tour de France. Then Richie Port is like, dude, take my last food. I don't need it. You shall survive. I mean, why? You cheat. You cheat. And you should lose a su substantial amount of time. Guess what they lost? 20 seconds. Yes, 20 seconds. 20 motherfucking seconds. That's nothing when you have a five uh, five minute lead. Like, that's nothing. Probably should have paced more because right now they actually have a big lead. Will I catch him? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, so I need to use Bonnet, Willems, Stewart. Yeah, they're all up here. But I mean, 20 seconds, that's nothing. I wanted Froome to lose 5 minutes. That way you don't only punish Froome, but you also make the race interesting again. And there's only like 50 seconds difference between 1st and 4th place. Now that's the scary thing. If Froome wasn't in the Tour de France this year, from 1st to 4th place, there's only like 50 seconds difference. Just imagine what an amazing Tour de France that would have been. But not happening. So you. And you. And you. You. And you. I got my leader train. Let's hope no one messes it up. <laughs> Especially you, Viviani, after yesterday. And I'm going for balance in this one because I kind of want the yellow jersey too. So I'll, that's plenty of stages for me to go for Viviani. What are you doing, Dasonville? Get to the front. Florian, what the heck? Stuyen, Stuyen, get to the front. Get up there. Get up there. Okay, let's go. Right now, the breakaway's got a minute. Oh, they lost a lot of a lot of effort because of that little pull right there. Where is... What is Bonnet doing? What is Bonnet doing? Oh, wait, he's up there. God dang it, Dasonville, get to the front. Get to the front. <laughs> How difficult... What the heck are you doing, Bonnet? What the heck are you doing? Like, this year's uh, sprinting is really messed up, in my opinion. Look at Bonnet, just... I don't even know. Okay. Dasonville. Then Bonnet on Dasonville. Stuyen on Bonnet. Viviani on Bonnet. And Villains on Viviani. Okay, that should, that should fix it, shouldn't it? What the heck is going on? Go, stronger. Go, Dasonville, go. What is going on? Okay, is, are you soon to... God dang it. Oh, we caught the breakaway. So that means we have a fair chance of winning this, maybe. This pace is way too high for some riders. Oh, crap, he's died. I didn't even I didn't even notice he died. I didn't even notice he died. That was a big brain fart, in my opinion. Or, oh, my opinion? It was a brain fart, and it was on my behalf. Go! Go, Bonnet! Pressure up! It actually looks like it'll be a battle between Soyasun and me. Bonnet, get up there! Oh, we can sprint already. Okay, let's start sprinting with Jasper Stuyen. And then Viviana can go so What are you doing? I mean, Viviana, what are you doing? Go! How's Villains doing? How's Villains doing? Let's go! Oh my 
God, Breezeville, you're going strong. Go on the left side. It looks like, holy cow, Breezeville, you. So it looks like Breezeville, you're going to win that really easily. And uh, Villains and Viviani are both dead. I mean, uh, this was not their kind of tea. No, that was not their cup of tea. Coming 8th and 9th. Viviani protects his green jersey, I believe. We'll have to check that in a second. But I don't know. So that should finish up my Tour de France start. I'll talk about another topic in the next stage. Well, let's see. This guy is to finish also. He's been having a really bad Estolde Bissage so far. But Romain Fillier. You oh, it wasn't even Brees Fillier. It was Romain Fillier. David Miller coming third in the sprint. That only happens in the Tour de France. I mean, there's a stage where he like, came fourth or second or something like that. In the bunch sprint. I remember that one. He even wrote on Twitter. Fourth in the bunch sprint. No big deal. <laughs> let's check. Did I lose the yellow jersey and everything? No, but Roman Fillier is really close now. What about the green jersey? I still got that one. Actually, it's not the green jersey, it's the yellow jersey for some reason. Not having this one. Don't really care about that one. And I got the white jersey, which is also really ugly. <laughs> some of these jerseys just ugly. I mean, if you have your own stage race, why not make the jerseys as pretty as possible? Like, I love the Tour de France, like the pocket jet. The polka dot jersey is one of the like my favorite ones because it's so aesthetic pleasing, and it really I guess it just has some meaning to it. But if you get like these ones, they're really ugly. So we'll see, what is the next stage? Actually, I don't even remember what the next stage looks like. Let me check this. Oh, I can win this one. With Viviani can win this one. So I'll see you in the race. So time to see what Viviani actually can do. Can he make it two victories in one stage race? That'd be a new uh, genius record for Viviani, I believe. Probably I should wait. I should wait with going to the front. This mountain is going to kill most of my riders since none of them are really that good at hills. Except for Valens. But I'm really looking forward for the time travel of Valens. See how good he is doing. So, let's see. Oh, is that Louis Vestra? How good is he in this game? They actually made him really bad in this game. I thought he'd be like 75, 78 mountain, but apparently he's not that good anymore. Nobody's going to attack up this mountain, looks like. So, oh, actually, Martinez. Igor Martinez attacking. Is anyone going to follow him? Nope. One man breakaway going for his mountain points. Looks like it. Yep, he's already got a minute. We'll see a one man breakaway. Congratulations to Igor Martinez. You get these mountain points. Now we can get to the front. Oh, actually no. He got attacked by the guys. Let's get to the front for once. Let's hope they don't pace up here. That way I can easily get to the front. Okay, Viviani in the front. Right there. What about the guys in behind? I actually see they're kind of pacing now. AG2R and the other team. La Palm. Come on, Daisenville. Get to the front. Get to the front. So, what should I talk about now? Should I talk about American football? Yeah, I guess so. I like, like, in the US, I basically went there to like, actually, let's talk about soccer first. The main reason I went to the US, actually that was just because I wanted to go to the US. Second biggest reason is, I used to play soccer on like a semi-professional level in my country, like in Denmark. And I went to the US thinking, you know what, they're not that good in the US. Maybe if I, if I get to like a medium school, I can actually prove my worth, maybe get a scholarship, and I can get a full ride to a college over there. Because I'm a really good goalkeeper, I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm a really good goalkeeper. And um, what then what happened is that I actually came to a school without any soccer at all. Like, I came to Nebraska, and if you know the US, Nebraska just doesn't care about soccer. Unless you live in Omaha, which is like their biggest city, and they are like the national champions in uh, soccer. But I didn't get there. I, like, I didn't get to live there, so I didn't get to try it. Plus, the entire team is Mexicans, and I'm not. I don't have a tiny inch of Mexican in me, so I wouldn't probably even would have made. I wouldn't have made the team anyway because I'm not Mexican. For some reason, that city you have to be Mexican or black for that. For that sake, like they're like it's funny to see their ba basketball team is black, their soccer team is Mexican, and their football team is white. I mean, is that just stereotypical, or I mean, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but then I, then I was like, well, I like American football, so why don't I just make the best of it and just start playing American football? Turned out I wasn't that bad at American football. Like, in the U.S., you have the A, like, A level, like the best level, and you have the B level, the next best level, which is called like varsity and junior varsity. Junior varsity is the B level, varsity is the A level. What I was, I was mixing between, like, whenever we had a big lead, lead in, a, in a, like, an important game or something like that, I'd come in there to help like the big stars rest and stuff as the only JVer because I'm, I'm big, I'm, I'm agile, I'm fast, and I'd be like a play defensive end. And if you don't know what that is, I'll probably I'll show you a screen like I'll show you a picture right now where I'm standing on our eight man football. Like normally we play eleven man because I, I came to a small school we play eight man. And I'll show you a picture right here of me like what it looks like when 
your defensive end because on defense you're like the outside you gotta be big you gotta be fast and you gotta be able to take a hit Actually, not, yeah because yeah yeah you gotta be able to take a hit because the the halfback the running back it's gonna hit you a lot of times and the fullback too so I'm used to getting run over I actually have a scar on my right side because in the beginning of the season I also played tight end which was not the best decision because I'm really scared of getting hit. Like I, in the beginning, I was scared of getting hit, and I didn't. I covered up more than catching the ball. So to now, I gotta play. I gotta give the hits and take the hits. But uh, yeah, one time I went up for a ball. I went up and caught it. Uh, one of the best stars in the linebackers, which is like defense. You gotta be fast and you gotta be outside and stuff like that. It's tough. To, like if you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google it and see it. But he was a linebacker, I went up to catch a ball, and he drilled me right in the side, so now I have a scar on my hip, because he drilled me with his helmet. He didn't mean to do it, like he was sad and everything, but it's like, after that, I'm like, holy crap, this sport is not fun as an offensive guy, because you just get hit and hit and hit and hit. Then after that, I made the transition to defensive end, and I'm like, this is fun, because then you can get to hit them. I mean, that's just amazing. Oh, Pablo Lastra's attacking. One of my favorite riders, actually. But yeah, then I'm like, well, defense, I kind of like playing defense. I should keep playing defense. Well, I'm not, guys, I'm not going to pace for this. I hope you know this AI, but I'm, I'm not going to pace for those guys. Because I don't have the team to pace. Um, so, then, after starting playing defensive end, I had like, a, like my game of the season was against, like, I lived in a city called Exeter. And right beside us was a city called Friend. Yeah, right. Ironic, Friend is our rivals. But, um... Uh, we played against them, and they were like they were terrible. Like their starting, no, their starting quarterback was out with a concussion. Their backup quarterback got injured in the game, like he broke broke his leg or something in the game. And then they had their third string quarterback in the game. I felt sorry for him, but they were like that. We were up fifty seven to zero or something like that. I remember I scored in, like I also kicked like field goals once in a while, like when we were up, like we just wanted to jerk around. And I got to kick some field goals, and I put sixty nine on the scoreboard, and everyone was like sixty nine. It's crazy. And, like that just shows how immature they are. Like sixty nine, they all go crazy. But uh, yeah, it's <laughs> a fun fact. Immature U.S. is immature. But then uh, the last play of the game, or the second last play of the game, they play a pitch, which like your quarterback like pitches it out to the halfback and he runs like in like a J outside or half U I would say outside everyone and I tackled him I look out I'm like yes I got the tackle I'm like why does he keep running turns out he pitched the ball again like he gave the ball away again and uh, then I'm like oh god dang it then somebody else like tackled him but he face masked him so the time ran out but they were on our 10th like uh, line 10th yard line that's what I'm gonna say in our like they only had 10 yards to go to our end zone then like, uh, I was like, oh, god dang it. And they had zero seconds left. So that we know this is going to be the last play of the game because you can't end the game on a penalty. So they had to play one more, like, play. And our coach was like, our rivals are not going to score a single point on it. So they start putting half of the varsity team in, like the ace team. And I get to stay out there. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to prove my worth right here. And if I'm able to record it, I'll show you on the screen right now what it looked like when I made that tackle because I juked the guy protecting me and I just went straight for the third swing quarterback and I just sacked him and we actually kept the zero so 69 to zero I think it was and everyone's like great hit Jasper great hit actually they called me Jasper because that's how you say it in the US but that was just an amazing feeling like if you ever get the game saving tackle or not the game saving but just principle saving tackle you feel a lot better I mean that was probably the highlight of my entire year is getting that one tackle. Like just that one tackle just made my year complete. So that's amazing. I hope you get to watch. I hope I get to find out to record it so I can show you guys because that really meant a lot to me. Then we went to the state championship undefeated 12 and 0. Turns out the guy we were pl the, the guys we were playing had kind of stolen our play so they were running our kind of plays, which was really gay because they ran them better than we did. So they beat us like 52 to 12 or something like that. So we got killed. Really, that was a shame. Like we went 12 and we went undefeated throughout the entire season. We get to the championship and we lose. I mean, that was the, that was a bum feeling. Like, imagine I feel really good when I made that game-saving tackle, and then we get to the championship and we lose, and we're like, God dang it! And the seniors were crying, and uh, everything was just bad. I wasn't really crying. I I didn't care that much at the time, but now I kind of miss football. And in the end of the year, I actually got like a, a helmet and a football signed by everyone, everyone on the team because they like me and stuff. Or at least, at least I hope that's the reason why they did it. So, <laughs> well, at least I got one. So that's that's really nice of them. Then uh, I would say basketball is not my strong point. I was I'm big, like I'm six four, so almost six four, I'd say. 
Uh, but I just didn't like basketball because I cannot control balls. Uh, for some reason, I'm just no go. I'm not a good ball, ball handler. Even though it's a center, I'm like I can dunk and everything. But that's it. Like if you pass me the ball, you're like, oh and crap, he got the ball. What are we gonna do? Just run the other way and hope he doesn't mess up. <laughs> Holy crap! This peloton split out now. Can we get to the front, please, guys? Uh, are they getting to the front again? Doesn't look like it. Playing on hard is actually kind of difficult. I thought it'd be kind of easy, but nah, actually not. Uh, Francois, would you please get to the front? Actually, I'm gonna use Valens for this one because he's he's more re he's he's ready for this one. I think. Let's just use Valens once. Yesterday we worked for him. This time he can work for Viviani. Right now the breaker has got 120 also. So let's see if they can hold it. Is there any big names up here? Matteo Rosada. So yeah, not that big of a name. Oh crap! We gotta set up my Leo train. So let's do it. Everyone's dead. Everyone's legitimately dead. This is not gonna be good. On you, we should use Dayzimal up here. Yeah. Uh, balance on him. This is not gonna be the best leader training. I'm, I'm. This is gonna. What the heck? This is gonna bug out again. I'm almost certain that this is gonna mess me over because it's gonna be. It's gonna be a bug or something like that. And everyone's just gonna like go in different directions. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I can already see it happening. I can already see it happening. I can already see Dayzimal using all his power to get up there. Get up there, Dazenville! Get up there! Where's everyone else? God dang it, this game! This game is me- What the- What the heck? Why? 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 What makes Valens think he's gotta go up there? What makes Valens think- Oh wait, I gotta go up here! I just gotta go up here and just relax! No! 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 It pisses me off! I mean, this is just ridiculously stupid. Oh my- Goodness, you pissed me off, Valens. I mean, that's not the first time he's ever done that. I mean, that's like his third or fourth time doing that. God dang it. I'm not going to be able to win this one. I told you winning and getting the green jersey would be difficult because I got Valens on this team. And I got Viviani on this team. What the heck is going on? Looks like... Are you dead? Viviani's dead? This is just not going to be the best sprint ever. You know what? You're going to go on Jesper Stewart and you can... Kiss my ass, you can kiss my ass, you can, you're dead. Uh, you can also kiss my ass, faggot. And you're dead. Uh, what do I do now? How do I do this now? Uh, how do I do this? I need to find someone that can actually sprint. And counter sprint them and hope Viviani can do something good. Gutierrez, you, you used to be good. No, no, not anymore. Bonafont, you can sprint. We saw you sprinting the other day. Or not. Uh... Yeah, Viviani's dead. This is not gonna be a Viviani sprint. Viviani's dead. I mean, he's completely dead. Like, how did the Peloton get split up that much just because of that? So, oh, back, back, back donuts, back donuts. You can do this. What the heck? God dang it! Someone, someone find someone to counter sprint in the front. We have Vadolia, something, something, something. Okay, Viviani will probably get a top 15. That's my goal right now. The way this sprint has been going, because this sprint has just been terrible. Is Valens behind? No, he's not, but he's on the verge. He's on the urge, it looks like. So, wait as long as possible to sprint, and we might have a chance of getting top 10. Let's see, we're starting to sprint now. Stay on his wheel. Stay on his wheel. Viviani would get, would get nothing. Viviani's dead. So, the winner is Van der Zellerach from Team Sport Vantarin. We didn't even get top 10. Probably lost our uh, yellow jersey and our points jersey. Because my leader train was like, nah, we're not. What the heck? I like how these guys have to do another turn so they just go to the left and go, instead of going straight. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on, just finish. This guy's been like behind in every single stage. Like he's the new Tom Beelers, except his name is Kovelter. Get done. Come on, get over the finish line faster, you slow. So, this guy in the breakaway won it and took the yellow jersey of course, so... Unless he was behind before. No, actually, he didn't take any time. He didn't take any time, so we'll have to see. Actually, he did take time. We're now third, but I'm going for that green jersey, which you also lost, which is a yellow jersey, which made me want to puke. And uh, yeah, yeah. So far, so far, Viviani's shining through. Like Viviani's like a film magnet. Whatever he wants to do, the team is like, nope, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We came in 12, so top 15 was right, but I prefer coming in top 10 with a guy like Viviani because he's actually really good in real life, but in the game, he's crap. 
So we probably won't even win that one, and we probably now nah, we screwed. Good luck, Viviana. You're gonna need it. Are you ready for this? One man versus the world, with a useless team trying to help him. Will he succeed? Come back in the next episode. Just kidding. You can stay here. So, oh, is, are they, oh, god dang it, Jason! will stop pacing. Let's see if we can, Viviana can finally win a stage. But I doubt it, because look at that end. The end is hilly, like a lot. And he's only got 67 hill, while David Miller's got 73 hill. And Viviani's Viviani, so that also... You gotta think about it. If you have Viviani, you gotta give him, like, minus 10 and everything. Then you have his real stats. So his sprinting is 67, his acceleration is 67, his mountain is 51, his hill is shit. And his flat is, like, 1. So, yes, that's Viviani for you. Totally worthless. Crap. I'm gonna use Valence in the Zeta train again. I don't know why I keep trusting him, but I, sh I just, I just need to because compared to what I have, I need to make the best out of it. And <laughs> Bellas is actually in the mountains jersey for this one, which is really ugly. I like that I ha like Sina. I like the Sina doesn't just do the, you know what? You have the green jersey and you're just gonna do the same to, like Tour de France jerseys every time. But come on, these jerseys, it's torture for my eyes. I mean, it's it's like watching nails getting through my eyes. I mean, it hurts. I want to cry. It's just terrible. I mean, the the jersey. Let's take a look at this jersey like design. I mean, what the heck? You don't think that this is going to be the mountains jersey, do you? Well, it is, and it sucks. I don't like it. So I thought about this stage. I talk about how I got into YouTube. Because I know a lot of you guys watch my videos, and, like do also like short videos of. Pro Cycle Manager, hoping that you get big, you know, like some of you do. I don't, I don't know if all of you do, but some of you, actually, I know I do. So, the thing is that, when I first started YouTube, I did Call of Duty like everyone else did. I, I think I did, like, I did one commentary of Call of Duty, and it was probably my most fun recording ever, because I was like, Hello, fellow YouTubers. My name is Failure. I mean, I didn't even have my uh, intro here. I didn't even think I used my intro back then. But I was so horrendous because I'm like, I'm scared I'm going to talk too fast because I normally do it. And I know my mom was like, just but don't talk fast. We don't like it. I'm like, well, if my mom don't like it, then you guys won't like it. Well, turns out some of you actually do because you get hyped up in the end. And I'm probably a good shotcaster for the end. Or at least I hope I am. What the heck, villains? What the heck? What do you do in the back? What do you do in the back? Get to the front. But then I was like, I did my first ever wager match, which was terrible. God dang it. I'm going to use so much effort trying to get to the front right now. Why? This is just stupid. This is a brain fart by me. Turns out I'm not. I'm not, I'm gonna have to use him in the end. It's the only way I can win this. So well, I got into YouTube by watching. Like first, I've been watching Chris Smoo Chris Smoove like forever. If you don't know who this, he does Call of Duty and he does basketball. And I'm really big into basketball for some reason. I don't. I hate playing the game because I was terrible. Actually, I'm decent now, but I used to be terrible. And yeah, I watched him and I, he gave me a lot of inspiration. And that's how I like. I'm like yes. I, that was back in the days so I didn't even know you could subscribe, so every day I'd go on this channel, channel, just refresh, 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 new video, yes! Next day, refresh, 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 new video, yes! I mean, I didn't even know you could subscribe back then, which is kind of embarrassing thinking about it now. It's such a big thing now. But, yeah. Then I watched him, I watched him. Then I'm like, you know what? I like cycling a lot. Let's check out if anybody's doing Pro Cycling Manager. Turn out one guy was doing it English. One guy. I'm the games guy. I don't know how many of you remember him. Man, it's just strange that remember that he's gone now. So, yeah, he got me into doing Pro Cycling Manager, which is sh like it's, I love the guy to death. But it's just a funny story about him. Like, like the story of him not being able to do this anymore is hilarious. I mean, I don't even I don't know if I have the, the like I don't know if I can tell it. I don't know if I have the permission from him to tell the story of why he he didn't do YouTube in, like forever. It's kind of embarrassing for him. So I'm. You know, I'm just gonna go through it. I'm the games guy. If you're here, I'm sorry. But if you're here, you better fucking call me because I miss you. But the thing is, in the beginning, he couldn't do YouTube because his girlfriend was mad at him. He did, like, he apparently watched porn on his computer and his girlfriend caught him watching porn. And she got so mad, she's like, you know what? That's my punishment to you. You can no longer do YouTube. And that was kind of his punishment. That's, at least that's what he told me. So it's kind of an embarrassing story for him, I guess, because his girlfriend caught him watching porn. I... I want to see his girlfriend because he didn't look that bad. I want to see what his girlfriend looked like. If you have to watch porn for that, I don't know. So, yeah. He got me into doing Pro Cycling Manager. We did some dual commentaries. We did some live streams. Like, my first day of a live stream with him 
was like 35 viewers. I'm like, holy crap, that's a lot. But most of them were his because he had like 20, he had like 200 subscribers. And that was a lot back then. Now we have Fiasco Chip with a thousand subscribers. So the community is growing fast. But then like he just disappeared out of nowhere. He's like one day he's like, you know what, dude? I can't do YouTube anymore. My mom, my like my sister, like not my sister. I don't hope his girlfriend is his sister. But his sister was like didn't approve of it. God dang, why do I keep saying sister? His girlfriend didn't approve of it, and that's probably why. And plus he's now like I bet he's like 20 years old now. I mean, that's just funny. One thing that stood out about me to him was that he said, I gotta go and get tea. I'm like, why do you get tea at like 6 o'clock? Oh, I gotta, oh, it's dinner. Oh, yeah, wait, I forgot you're British. Yeah, let's go get tea. <laughs> it's just something that stood out to me. Then I'm like, then that's it. And like, he was gone, then I did YouTube. Like, I'm like, you know what? He's gone now. This is my p perfect opportunity to be the go-to PCM guy. And I'm gonna utilize this. I'm gonna have fun. And I had fun for like forever. And I did really good, even though my commentaries were shit. People actually liked them, which I don't understand because my English was terrible. I'm like, like my, st my voice was like this. Hello, fellow YouTubers. Finally out here. And today we'll be doing another Team Lacosta video. I mean, I'd be voice cracks in the middle of the video. It'd be high pitched. It'd be annoying to watch. I, I can't even watch it back now. I'll watch it back. And I see how bad I was at English and how high pitched my voice is. And I just didn't like watching it at all. And... The year in the U.S. really got my eyes up for that, and I realized, you know what? I can do so much better. I can do so much better. Why don't I do it? Oh, crap. This is steep, steep hill. But why don't I do better? Like, I want to be the go-to guy. Well, you know what? I'm going to have the best content then. If I if I want to be the go-to guy, i got to be the guy with the best content. And I'm trying to be that guy. Because I've done PCM since 2009, I think. I've, I've had my user since 2008. And it's just like, I want to do this so bad. Like... I used my entire summer vacation so far. I had like two, an extra month of summer vacation because I came in for the U.S. So I've had an extra month month to do this. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to really try to do my best. I'm going to do Challenge of the Week. I'm going to do Team Lacoste. I'm going to do the Tour of the of Failure Way. I'm going to do MLC. I'm going to just bring PCM to that next level of gameplay where you just don't... You have to watch this over your cut video. You don't watch Call of Duty first before watching PCM. You watch PCM, then Call of Duty. I want to be that guy. That really motivated me. But the thing that I kind of demotivated me was that in the U.S. Actually, they didn't demotivate me. I'm, I'm, I'm just talking shit right now. It motivated me a lot. In the U.S., people are like, come back. We miss you. Only six more months and we'll have the great failure bag and stuff like that. That really meant a lot to me. Oh, shit. I should sprint for this. I should sprint for this. How much points does it give? Uh. Fuck that shit. Go, Viviani. Go. Go, 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 oh, he got it, he got it, he got it, he got it. Okay, then, William Bonnet, you can protect him again. God dang it, Tim Valens, get up there. So I got some seconds on that, by the way, so that's really good, actually. But I used a lot of efforts from that. See if he can stay up there. Oh, that's not the best timing, because now there's a mountain, and he's kind of dead. God dang it, we got a counter from Viviani. I can't make a leader train for this one. I don't think I can. Oh, the Pelton's splitting up right now, god dang it. Stuyen, you can protect Valens. Oh, I'm sorry I, I kind of stopped my, my YouTube how I got into YouTube. How I did YouTube and stuff. I don't know where. But yeah, I'm like, then, you ch like, while I was gone, you guys were like, you can do it, Philly. We miss you. We want you back. We love your videos and stuff. Only five more months and you're back. I'm like, this, I really have a good, like, a good community around me. I should really continue doing this because I was thinking about when I came, came home, you know what? YouTube, I have like 345 subscribers or something like that. It's not worth it. I mean... I can just go out there and get a job and I'll get more money than I'm doing this. And it was like, you know what? These guys worship me. And I'll never get that experience any other place unless I get like a professional football player, which I never will be. Uh, Wellens, where are you at? Should probably just counter spin Miller. See what Wellens can do today and counter spinning Miller. Viviani's just gonna get top 10 placement today because the finish is not his cup of tea, so we'll see what's gonna happen. You can sprint on Simone. Actually, no. Holy crap, here comes the entire Estonia team. Trying with their train. <laughs> but, uh, where was I? I forgot where I was before. But yeah, you guys were motivating me. I came home, and I just want to be... I just want to do so good. And I, then I grew, like, 200 subscribers since the Tour de France started. Or since... Yes. Yeah, no, since I came home, I think. I'm like, this is really amazing. There's really a big community for PCM now. And I'm, I'm a part of that now. I made that happen, and that's just... I'm proud of being that guy that made this happen. At least, I, I expect, <laughs> I'm sounding cocky right now, I uh, inspired a lot of, a bunch of you guys. I know I inspired Hansbo and Fiasco and both of, the, both of them right now have more subscribers than I do. 
But it's just, that really helped me a lot to think about that. What is Viviani doing? Why can't you get to the front? We should probably win on Gavassi's field right now. Where's the student? Oh, I should go and student right now. I should go and student right now. I feel like going on student right now. But knowing this, the sprint is going to mess up. Come on. Get, get up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is possible. What are you doing, Viviani? What are you doing? Viviani, you're on the wrong wheel. What the, what the heck, Viviani? Okay, now you can start sprinting. Stuin, Stuin, start sprinting. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go with Viviani and go with Villains. Let's see if we can do anything. Uh, this is not going to be a victory for me. Oh, maybe Villains can do something. Maybe Villains can do something. Nah. <laughs> God dang it, I got a 9 from the stage anyway. It looks like Roman Full U is going to take over the mountains, uh, the sprinter points, so I got one more stage to do something, which is a shame. And to f sum up the YouTube thing, I really hope that I can get a thousand subscribers before this year's over, because it just shows that I'm going the right direction and I keep getting fans and stuff. Like, it's amazing to see all you guys, like, keep, like, supporting me and saying you're doing a good job, and one comment really stood out to me in the like previous days, it's Mass FCN who also made my logo, like thank you to you. But he wrote to me, I, I can predict the future. A bunch of subs are coming. I mean, just that means a lot to me. Like those kind of comments makes a lot to me because it just shows that you're doing good good uh, good work and they appreciate it and I really love that. God dang it! Seven seven points behind. So even though we got those extra like intermediate points, I'm still behind. So I really gotta win the next stage. That's gonna be the last chance for Viviana to get that. So I'm gonna is this going to be the decide, like, am I going to lose 500,000 or am I going to gain a 500,000? We'll have to see. So let's see what the next stage looks like. I already forgot. And I got to think about a new thing to talk about next episode, next stage. Oh, I can win this one. I can win this one. This one should not be difficult at all, so I'll see you in that one. So this stage is only 70 kilometers long, so I should be able to win. It should be, it should be done pretty fast, which means I can squeeze in the last time trial as well, so it's going to be fun. Let's see what Viviani can do today. If Viviani doesn't win today and I don't distance Roman for you, I will lose the I'll use the I'll lose the green jersey. I call it the green jersey even though it's like the yellow jersey in this race. It's just so you guys know it because most of you guys probably only watch the Tour de France. So you only know those kind of jer oh excuse me, you probably only know that, those kind of jerseys. Once again, Pablo Lasta scores in the breakaway like a madman. One of my favorite riders. You're probably wondering why you say everyone is your favorite rider. Well, I have different reasons. Pablo Lasta is my favorite rider because in 2011. Well, no, it was 2012, where they first implemented the Marta. I was playing with him. He was my first starter guy, as a silver guy. And I won so many stages with Pablo Lastras. He's a beast. I mean, he's just amazing. He can sprint, he can go uphill, he can go downhill, he can go sideways, he can go uh, diagonal. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm running out of things to say for him. Um, yeah. And Chris Anger Sons is my, is my, my far the favorite rider because he's Danish, he's funny, and he's strong. And he's... Around the place where I'm, he lives, around the place where I'm from, I think. No, he's not. I'm just kidding. I'm lying. He's not. Um, oh god, dang it! This pace is too high for some riders to follow. The pace in the peloton. I'm trying to copy the commentator, the in-game commentator. But like, yeah. Okay, this is not. 75 is too fast, maybe. But yeah, I like him a lot. I like Naro Quintana after the Tour de France now. Like just the way he's riding. Like he's a cool guy. He's like he, he doesn't showboat like Peter Sagan, which I. I kind of like him because he showboats just a bit. Like he's a fresh, like he's just some fresh air to the Tour de France or to the peloton. He like he does the stuff you don't expect, like like pinching the the like the girl's ass and stuff. I, I thought that was funny, but some people didn't. Uh, that like that. Uh, what else is there to talk about? Oh God, dang it, Viviani. Uh, yeah, Nara Quintana. I like him because he's cool. He's really good. He can follow through. Him. He might be dope. Like the tour the. The cycling sport is just turned in, is he, is he doped or is he not doped or is it pure willpower? That's kind of what it's turned into now, which is really a shame because it's, it's got a lot of potential, but people just don't like it. Like, people don't trust the sport, which I can understand because I don't really do either, so I can totally understand it. Um, next, another favorite rider? It's gotta be Ale Viviani. I mean, you can't do anything but love this guy. He's so terrible in the game that I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna like it. Oh god dang it, Dacenville. I'm not gonna use Dacenville for this one, it looks like. But... I like him, but I hate him at the same time. It's like a love-hate relationship. He's not terrible, but he's not good either. So, no matter what you get, like the, <laughs> no matter what you get screwed with Viviani. Like, if it's not Viviani screwing up, it's his teammates around him screwing up. 
And this is a really difficult mountain, actually. This is a good place mountain. This is really tying out the normal sprinters. Come on! Come on! This place is way too high for some riders. Uh, guess my leader train will be Valens and Viviani? Okay, who did good in the last stage? Roman for you. Let's see if we can find him and steal his wheel. Uh, what team is he even on? He's on here. Okay, he's in the front. Can we get up to him? Let's see if we can't get up to Roman Filius' wheel. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Oh, Danny from Pablo's going forward. Can we get on his wheel? Does that take too much energy? Keep an eye. Oh, 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 oh. Don't go in red. Don't go in red. Don't go in red. I'm try sorry for this. I'm just making sure that he doesn't go in red because that's going to really hurt his powers. What are you doing, Viviani? What are you doing? God dang it, this is going to be a steep mountain for Viviani. Any little road bump is steep for Viviani. Go on, Roman, follow you. I believe in you, Viviani. I believe in you, Viviani. I believe in the heart of the cards. Oh my goodness, this pace. If I don't win this stage, I'm screwed. If I don't win this stage, I'm screwed. Why are you pacing so bad, Roman, follow you? Like, make a leader train or something. What, what's it looking like in front? Oh, there goes Pablo Lasters. They have th 28 seconds. I believe we can do this. We're not going that fast right now. I believe we can do this. What happened to Viviani? What the heck? What the heck? Should I make a leader train again? I don't trust Valence. Jasper Stewart, you're doing okay. You can go on Valence. I'm, I'm taking a risk. I'm making a small leader train just to try. This is a big risk, actually. But I'm going to try it. Because everything else seems to not work for me. Viviani! No! Viviani! Why? Why? Get up! God dang it. See, this is what I'm talking about, Viviani. I mean, it's just like, we have the perfect leader train, but he just doesn't want to get up there. Get up there, Viviani. Oh, he actually did. Viviani actually did. I have a legitimate chance right now if we can stay in the front to win this one, Viviani. But it's going to be close in the end. It's going to be difficult, but I believe we can do it. Let's go, Valens. Keep the pace up high. Viviani took his thing already. Go, 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 go. How's Jasper Stewart doing? He's doing good. I believe in you, Jasper Stewart. You gotta carry Viviani to victory. Let's go, Jasper Stewart, Viviani. Oh, god damn, I'm getting blocked by Valence. Oh, Valence, Valence is also sprinting now. Get past him. No, Viviani's getting boxed in. Viviani's getting boxed in. No, no, Viviani. Why do you have to be so terrible? Go, Viviani. Go, 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 go. Get past them. Get past him. God dang it, Viviani. I mean, Viviani's just... Oh, so Bagdonas is going to win this one, actually. Good job for him. Which means I'm not going to be able to get the green jersey. Which means I'm going to lose 500,000 coins. Or euros. God dang it, Viviani. Unless Viviani can do like an amazing time trial and win that one, I'm not going to be able to. So, Viviani getting 6th in the stage. F you. F you, Viviani. Actually, in the US, not to say fuck you, you say FQ. That way you don't get caught in school. You're like, FQ! It's a terrible thing, I know. I just, don't listen to me, that's terrible. But in the US you actually do that, at least where I'm from. Like, to not say fuck you in school, because then you get detention, which is not a good thing. You say FQ. And that's apparently better. But it's still meaning the same, apparently, for some reason. So, I'm too far behind, so... God dang it, Viviani! For the next one, for the next days, guys, you will be able to set my... My uh, goals. So you, I'm gonna take the best goal, like the best proposal, proposal for you guys. You guys, like you're gonna give me a goal for the next day trace, and I'm gonna do the best one that you can come up with. God dang it, Viviani! Why do I even care to bring Viviani to these races anymore? He won't even do what I'm telling him to do. So we'll, I'll come back when we add Valence in this one, because this one's gonna be really fast. It's only 10 kilometers. So it'll be a fast one. My first rider is off, Nicholas Bonnet, 65th overall, and I have three guys going in a row now, so it's not the best optimal training right now. I'm going to use these three guys, and Francois is going in second too, yeah. I'm going to use these three guys to figure out how to win the States of Valence. I'm going to try 60 on all of these guys. My thing is, I'm going to speed up when I get to that point, I'm going to speed up. Like, normally what I would do is just ma make those two match together, but that's not the best, like, choice. You gotta go faster in the end than you go in the beginning, so... Right now, I'm trying to get Bonnet up there. Then when we get to this, you can go 70, maybe. Maybe I should just do it now, right before this. Try. I'm going to try Bonnet here. Go 70. See if you can, you can do it. Because you also got to think that's not that's point uh, 9.8% right there. Uh, oh, he's shit. Dazenville is shit. And Francois, too. So, uh, I got to see what's going to happen with him. 
Can he pace that fast in the end? Let me let me try eighty. Uh, this might not have been the this might not have been the best tactic. Let's not do that for villains when he comes. Maybe go seventy instead. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Don't do this. Don't, don't yo. No, no. Oh, and shout out to the little Laney. Shout out to the little Laney who just messaged me. Let's see what Nicholas Bonnet can do up this mountain, up this hill. Can he catch up? Can his re green bar and red bar, red bar? Am I colorblind? Blue bar catch up. Catch up. Yeah, that's that's red. That's red. Now you get it right. Catch up is red. But that's not. Okay. Okay. I might have gone too fast in the end. Go 99. Go 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 go. Come on. Shout out to little lady for fo seeing all my videos. He actually came in sixth. So it's not. I have the. I have the right idea. I just gotta do it. Shit. He's gotta. Come on, Daisville. Ah, oh, terrible. Oh crap. Go, 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 go. I did. No, no. I'm, I'm screwed because now I gotta, re I gotta think. But Valens right now, and this is not, this is not gonna be good. Come on, Valens. I'm gonna. When is Valens going? Wait, he's going. No, that's the wrong one. Going 27th. God dang it, fires. Why is everyone going online on Steam? So we gotta wait like 30 places. So I think it's, you gotta go like 70. I think 70 is okay. 65 or 70. But in the end, you gotta go like 75 maybe. Depending on how fast Valens can go. Uh, in the end, Igor Martinez is first right now, but that won't stay that way. Because we have big guns like Louis Vestra in this one. And he's going up there. Like, he's gonna... This guy is 70, 77 prologue, 75, 77 time trial, 74 hill. The biggest variable for this entire race. Oh, God dang it! <coughs> I just... Swallow my spit. <coughs> God dang it. You watch me fail at life. God dang it. No. I didn't realize Valens was going. I'm like just thinking to myself, when does he go? When does he go? And he just out of nowhere just goes off. So he should have a really fast first time check. Maybe 65 is okay. 18th. God dang it. This is not going to be good. I don't think I'm going to be able to win this with Valens. When you normally play a normal, when you normally play a normal, that word. Yeah, but when you're normally playing normal and you're going hard, I don't believe it's the best choice. Can I go on 80 of this man? Let's see if Valen can go 80. Can Valens go fast enough up this thing? Let's see. Oh, it looks like his green bar is catching up now. Maybe 75. It's going too fast. It's going too fast. No, 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 no. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I'm not going to be able to win this one. I'm not going to be able to win this one. I messed up. I messed up. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm failured. I'm a failure. I'm trying to just save his green bar and just trying to. S God dang it! God dang! He's even got plus five in the day, and I mess it up. He got sixteenth. God dang it! I had a good chance of winning this one, but I messed it up. Wouldn't be a failure with you without me messing up. God dang it! I'm trying to see if Jasper Stewart can do anything. Actually, it's up to Viviani to do anything in the end. I'm just gonna go fast through this, and there's no point. I'm not gonna be able to win this with Jasper Stewart. Can you do 75 up this man? See if that was the right idea. It looks like 70. No, 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 no. 99! No. So, time for Viviana to keep his white jersey. Can he keep it or can he do anything good? I should actually go 75 right here. I think that might have been my mistake. No. Yeah. You can probably go 75 here. I'm gonna try that with Viviani. He's uh, got a lot of competition for his white jersey actually, so we'll. He'll have to try and keep it. I'm gonna experiment because my original goal was winning with Valence, which did not happen one bit because I messed up. So right now my goal is to keep this white jersey with Viviani, which won't happen either because I'm failing. Ooh, Bakhtanes fails. Ooh, he's not. Bakhtanes is doing good, which is my biggest comp. No, that's not my biggest competition. Where is my biggest competition for the white jersey? Van Oh, we, we gotta keep an eye on this guy. 26 seconds. 30, oh god dang it. Come on Viviani. Come on, no, no. Come on Viviani. You can do this Viviani. We have faith in you. I believe in the heart of the cards. And, and Viviani will not fail me. Not this time. Not never. You will gain time back. You will gain time back on uh, whatever his name was. I forgot it already. You can do it Viviani. You will gain time back. You will not be a complete failure. You will gain time back. Go 99. 46 seconds. How much time did he lose again? I can't, I can't find him. So, did he get in top 10? Nope. See, even, let's look at the results. Let's look at the sprints. Uh, 
Uh, I don't see him. I don't see Valens getting 22nd. How much time did we lose? Actually, Ruben Plaza wins the sprint. Not uh, wins the sprint, wins the time trial, surprisingly. And back to Nas keeps his oval classification. But, uh, yeah, Viviani went out of there pretty badly. Nope, back to Ness got that one. We did not continue, we did not do that, so I'm going to lose 500,000 euros, which is a shame. Let's look at the white jersey. I lost everything. I lost everything. God dang. We went from having a joy of Viviani winning a stage to just losing everything. The power of Viviani shines through once again. Viviani will not let you be happy. It's like, no. It's like Viagra. Don't do it. It won't let you be happy. So, that was that race, guys. Next race is coming up to the Twitty Mediterranean, which we split up into three parts, I believe. Maybe maybe two and a half. We'll have to see. So, you can see the guys I'm bringing for this one. Uh, I'll show you. The guys I'm bringing to the Twitty Mediterranean is David Mullikern, David Us, Dominic Canoe, Adrian Petit, Something LeBon, Sylvain Chavanel. Those six guys. So, you gotta give me a, a realistic goal for me to get, because it's gotta be realistic. If you can come up with a good one, I'll probably use yours. So here's the six stages. If you can come up with a realistic goal, it's not only like win a, win a jersey, but if you can like say win the stage with that certain person and I like it, sure. So, it's actually five stages, so. Come up with a realistic goal and I might do it. So, thank you guys for watching. You just saw the power of Viviani in action. He will never let you be happy. F you, Viviani. F you!